Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 coverage as the Lady Comets play host to the Rossville Lady Hornets. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined tonight on the other headset by Gavin Hickel. How are you doing tonight, Gav? I'm doing all right. How about you, Blair? I'm doing okay. It was uh, really good uh, to see the JV Lady Comets uh, pull out a win over the JV Lady Hornets. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see how this matchup goes. I did see that John Harrell is predicting a Hornets victory tonight, uh, but I'm sure that these Lady Comets are hungry for blood, or thirsty for blood, after uh, Saturday's devastating 68-3 loss against yes. the Winnemag Warriors. That was, uh, I always hate not being someplace to support our athletes, but that's, that's one I feel like I was kind of glad I wasn't at. Yeah, I was uh, told that when told to go to it. I I had other plans, and after seeing what had happened, I was thinking it's kind of good. I did not. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's always a uh, fierce matchup anyway. I remember uh, a couple years ago when we were at Winnemac, uh, that was the game that uh, Lane Oliver took three steps and threw an elbow and pulled a technical on that one. So... Anyway, I suppose, though, we're only two minutes away from starting to see how this goes down. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've got just under two minutes. Go ahead and grab yourself some snacks. Uh, be ready for tip-off. We're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Mike's Trash Removal Service in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash Removal will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash Removal Service today. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free Checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At this time, we'd like to have everyone rise, move your hands, and join in as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Tonight, our national anthem will be sung by cast and senior Kegan Slocum.
All right, how about some starting lineups? All right, and for the Hornets, number 10, Jayla Rosen. Number 12, Madison Miller. Number 24, Emma Lawson. Number 30, Sam Malson. And number 34, Michelle Rodkey. And the Lady Hornets are coached by Chad Gayheb? Oh, yeah. I'm already butchering names. We haven't started the game yet. I was about to say you weren't, but looks like that changed. And now for your Lady Comets. Mr. Butchkowski's a lot more excited with this than I. No. All right, number three, Aubrey Digg. Number 30, 13, Olivia Boldry. Wait, he said 15, Lane Oliver. Number 20, Maddie Smith. Number 21, Sophie Jellison. And number 35, Jordan Klingler. Lady Comets are coached by Coach Don Helmick. Bright light. Sometimes I think it'd be cool if they just left the lights off, you know? You know, I'm kind of surprised they don't. You know, it saves power. It looks cool. People just tend to like the dark sometimes. You didn't happen to get a look at uh, Rossville's uh, record so far on the season? I did. And um, they are one and two. Casting coming in tonight's matchup, 0 oh and 5. <laughs> Casting did win the last matchup between these two teams. Aubrey Dagg now with the ball in double coverage between the legs of number 12, Madison Miller. Sophie Jellison over on the right-hand side and sends it out of bounds, trying to send it down to Jordan Klingler. Very aggressive Rossville defense off the bat. Ball over to number 34, Michelle Rodkey. Over here to number 10, Jaylen, Jayla Rosen. And ball back over midcourt line and Aubrey Degg with possession. Sophie Jellison gets stuck looking for somebody to send it to, sends it back up to Degg at the volleyball line. It's over to Smith, left side. Back up to Jellison at the top of the key. Over to Smith on the left. Degg up between the key and the volleyball line. He's gonna take it into the free throw line, back out to Smith, Smith's gonna drive. And just off the mark with that. Could have maybe got a little something off that. Yeah, yeah a little it, something, something th there. that uh just uh didn't get a good roll on that. Three point there by Madison Miller off the mark. Close shot. Lady Comets with the rebound. 
Jellison to Degg at the top of the key. Back to Jellison. Goes left, picks up the dribble, gets stuck up to Maddie Smith at the top or up the volleyball line. Back to Degg at the volleyball line. I wondered if they were going to call that travel. She almost got away with it. She would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for that pesky official. <laughs> All right, that's number 10, Rosen across. Sends it over 32, or no, 30. I'm struggling even looking at numbers tonight, Gav. This is going to be a problem. All right, Rosen, top of the key. Over to number 12, up. Miller. And the paint back out to Rosen. Rosen for two, off the mark, and Smith with the rebound. Jellison across the timeline. Deg for three, drains it. Oh, long two. Nonetheless, Comet's drawing first blood here tonight. Ball into Miller. Over to Malson. Back to Miller. Miller for three. And it's good. That three giving the Lady Hornets a one point advantage. Dag meeting opposition at midcourt. Dishes it down to Smith. Nearly gets picked off. Dag driving in towards the free throw line. Sends it down to Klingler. And Klingler's gonna get called on a travel there. That's is that her second travel? No, it was Dag called for a travel last time. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but two travel calls in about two minutes is not boding well for the comments here. That's certainly not what Coach Helmick wants to see either. No, absolutely not. All right. Lawson will take it out for the Hornets. Way over to Miller. Can't quite get a hold of it. That could have been a dangerous setup there against the Comets because Miller is showing herself to be a shooter and she was wide open. Rosen meeting Dag at midcourt. Dag's going to send it to Jellison. Jellison dishes it up to Smith. Back over to Dag here on the left. And we're going to have a foul here on Jayla Rosen. Her first, team first, and that due to be a honor of game first. Smith taking it out for the comments. And Jellison, Jellison's going to put it up for three. Off the mark. That was close. I thought that one was in for sure. Foul called on number 20, Maddie Smith, her first, team first. Rosen, up into the volleyball line, sends it over to Lawson. Back to Rosen. Over to Malson. Miller sends it inside and a nice steal there by Jordan Klingler. She's going to hand it off to Dag. Dag's going to take it down to Comet's territory. Rough pass over to Jellison. Back up to Deg. Deg's going to drive towards the inside. Sends it over to Klingler. P pass is picked off. And shot attempt by Lawson is off the mark. Rebound by Maddie Smith. Jellison at the volleyball line. Tries to send it down to the post, and they've got that number. The girls are going to have to quit trying that. From the looks of it, uh, they're reading Jordan as the uh, post girl. Absolutely. And we've got Redding coming in for Rosen. 
Well, I'm sure in watching film, they've seen that Klingler is a crucial part of the Comets' offense, so they're shutting that down very effectively. Miller for three. Is that her second three? Her second three out of three attempts. There's the shooter. If this was collegiate or professional basketball, I, I know what we could say there, but we're not going to. This is high school basketball, <laughs> and I don't need fired. <laughs> Another turnover there by the Comets. Hornets with a four-point advantage. Three minutes left in this first quarter. Miller bringing it down. She's going to dish it inside. Klingler with a nice uh, interception on that pass, but then... Coach Helmick starting to look fairly uh, fired up. Uh, yeah. His yeah. patience is being prodded a little bit. I don't imagine after that loss last Saturday that he has a terrible amount of patience coming into this. Redding over to Miller. Miller's going to head towards the inside, sends it down to the post. Klingler getting involved with that pass again. So it looks like the two ladies at the post have each other's numbers, and um, the inside game may not be there a lot tonight. Rodkey out to Miller. Miller for three. They need to shut her down. Absolutely. Uh, They're going to have to do like a box and one or something. They've got to keep coverage on her. That is uh, nine points for her. Two and a half minutes left in the quarter. Degg getting in trouble there. Up to Smith. Smith's going to drive into the paint. Kicks it over to Klingler. Klingler over to Oliver. Oliver for two. A little off the mark. And jump ball. Ball into Miller. Cross midcourt. She's going to kick it over to Lawson. Back up to Miller. Over to Redding. Maddie and Smith with the block and off. interception. Oh, and, and just going back. Rating interception, or yeah. Smith nearly getting a foul on that. Up to Miller. Miller's going to dribble inside. Sends it over to number 30, Malson. Her shot's off the mark. Lady Comets with that rebound. Going to dish it down towards Klingler. Well, Rossville seems to have certainly done their homework, and they are trying very Absolutely. hard to shut down uh, Klingler. Michelle Rodkey has been all over every pass headed down to the post. Oliver, I don't know how they didn't uh, call a foul on that. Looked like a lot of ball. With and the there's Miller open there. again. That one was off the mark. Dig going to bring the ball back across midcourt line. Over to Smith. Smith in a little bit of trouble here. And five second violation there. A little lack of communication there. Yeah, that's uh, that's something we've said before. Miller coming across midcourt. Over to Redding, back to Miller. Under a minute left in this quarter. And two points put up by Rodkey. They're good. 42 seconds in the quarter. Jellison across midcourt at the volleyball line. Sends it over to, well, it ended up being Dag. I don't know that there's anybody there when she's let go of the pass. Smith on the right side. Sends it down to the post. And we're going to have Klingler drawing a foul. She'll go to the line for two. Foul was on number 24, Emma Lawson, her first. Team second. First shot up, just off the mark. Comments are going to need every point they can get tonight from the looks of it. Absolutely. They're at a nine-point disadvantage already here in the first. Second shot up, off the front of the rim. 
Hornets with the rebound. Rosen back in for the Hornets. Sends it over to Miller. 16 seconds left in the quarter. And we're going to have a foul here on Sophie Jellison. Her first, team second. Malson taking it out. Drifts it down to the post. Intercepted by Jordan Clinton. Oliver dishes it back to Degg. Degg for three. Drains it. And pass intercepted here by Degg as we close out the quarter. Well, first quarter was uh, mostly Hornets. We'll talk about that a little bit as we come back after this word from our sponsors on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first time home buyers. And with our premier first time home buyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank just the best bank. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just getting ready to pick up with second quarter action here. Uh, quarter one really belonged to the Hornets there, outscoring the Comets two to one. Uh, teams pretty evenly matched up on turnovers and on fouls in that quarter, so. Uh, it's going to come down to the Comets have got to shut down number 12, Madison Miller. Although being uh, fairly back and forth with uh, the interceptions and, right. and steals, uh, Rossville did seem to lead that quarter. Yeah, yeah. Very one, much so. Once again, the Comets just have to shut down uh, their shooters and – or uh, the Rossville shooters – and they're going to have to uh, figure out something other than the typical post play because that has been shut down very effectively. Pass up to Molenkoff. Back over to Smith. Smith. Uh, looks like we had a foul called there on Lane Oliver. Her first. She uh, looked less than enthused with that call. Rosen across midcourt over to Miller. Back to Rosen. And kick it over to Malson. Back to Malson. Rosen. Miller. <laughs> and dished across to Malson. She's going to put it up for two off the mark. And Comets forcing a turnover. And back down the court. Malson going in and putting in two. Dig going to bring it up across midcourt. Over to Molenkoff. Molenkoff back to Dig at the free throw line. Rosen all over Dig. Smith sending it in deep to Molenkoff. Molenkoff back up to Smith. Right at the top of the arc, in and out. Hornets coming up with that rebound. Rosen over to Miller. Miller wasn't able to get set. And send it over to Redding. Dag nearly forcing turnover. turnover. Rosen, oh, that was a travel ref. Who are we calling that on? Calling that on Aubrey Dag. Her first, team fourth. And we have Emma Lawson coming back in. Going to give Alyssa Redding a break. We're going to send it in to Miller. I thought she was going to be left wide open. She's going to dribble in towards the paint, drift it in, no good. Put back by Redding is good, though. Or not Redding, Rodkey. 
Dag to Miller, uh, not Miller, Smith. Smith to Klingler at the post. Post shot off the mark. Hornets now with a double digit lead. Miller back to Rosen. Over to Lawson. Miller top of the key. Smith nearly gets a hold of that pass. And Redding back in, gonna give Miller a break. <laughs> Rosen takes the inbound in the backcourt. Over to Malson, back to Rosen. Back to Malson, she's gonna dribble in towards the paint. Kicks it back out to Redding. Over to Malson, she's gonna go baseline. And Lane Oliver blocking her hard, gonna pick up another foul. <laughs> Olivia Boldry is gonna step in for the comments. Ball inbound to the top of the key. And pass it over to Redding. Rosen with a long two, off the mark. Smith with the rebound. Dag dishes it over to Boldry. Top of the key to Molenkoff. Back to Dag on the right side. Top of the key to uh, Smith. Over to Molenkoff, she's open for three. In and out. Hornets coming up with that rebound. Rose into the volleyball line. Kicks it over to Malson. We're gonna let Lawson go baseline back outside to Rodkey. Over to Malson. To the corner to Redding. Redding's gonna take it in and put it up. No good for two. Dag across half court. Tries to dish it hard over to Molenkoff. We had a turnover and turn back over. Molenkoff at the volleyball line. All right, we had a foul underneath. Klingler will go back to the line for two. Well, if anything, it seems that she can, she can draw fouls. <laughs> Foul there was on number 24, Emma Lawson. Her second, team third. First shot up, off the front of the rim again. And we have uh, Maddie Miller back in for the Hornets. Anyway, puts up that second shot, gets the good roll on that one. Rosen across midcourt, dishes it down to number 32, Redding. Got Miller, she's gonna take the three. No good on that one. Still close. That girl's a should still try to shut her down. Oh yeah, she's a three shooting fool. That's her uh, sixth three point attempt for the night. 340 left in the half. Smith with pass underneath, no good. Dag gonna strip it off though. Puts up a three, no good, Oh, Almost getting her own rebound <laughs> for a heck of a collision. Yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna take the foul on that. That's fair. <laughs> Put Michelle fair. Rodkey on the ground hard. You know, going from a standing position to a flat one on a hard, flat surface, <laughs> uh, let me tell you, I've been there and it sucks. <laughs> Rodkey's still kind of looking around like, where'd that little girl come from? <laughs> and timeout called. We're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Basketball on Caston TV on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. 
Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 329 left in the half. Hornets 15, Comets 6. Right before that break, a hard collision as uh, Arbor Digg was going after her own rebound. Put Alyssa Redding on the floor hard. Two-point attempt there by Redding off the mark. And foul. Foul was on number 21, Sophie Jellison, her second, team seventh. We'll be sending number 30, Sam Melson, to the line for one and one. First shot up and good. Second shot up, off the mark, and Klingler with that rebound. Mollenkoff. Up to the top of the key, sends it over to Degg. Degg to Jellison, off the mark. And Sam Melson will go coast to coast with it, put it up for two. The interceptions have been bad so far tonight. Ooh, and Jellison trips while she's grabbing the basketball. She'll get a travel off that. Ball into Rosen. 18 to six now, Hornets with 12 point advantage. Rosen sends it into the paint, triple coverage back out to Rosen. Number 32 with the long two off the mark. Rosen for two, off the mark. And Comets with that rebound. Jellison at the volleyball line. Sends it over to Daig on the left side. Down to the post. Klingler for two and it's good. Open three by Redding, it's off the mark. Ball into Rodkey. Over to Redding. Across the top to Rosen. Two point attempt by Mousen. A little hard. And out of bounds off of the Hornets. Ball into Degg. Degg across midcourt. Fancy footwork there. She's gonna send it up to Jellison. Jellison put up three. Just a little short on that. Foul there on number 10, Jayla Rosen, her second. Team fourth. Jellison into Klingler, out to Molenkoff. Molenkoff dishes it to uh, Dagget. Volleyball line. Pass up to Jellison, nearly Can't complete. She's happen. gonna have to. She's gonna have to send it off. Dag back across into Comets territory, and gets called on that travel. Comets just struggling with maintaining control of the basketball over here.
And Dag is man to man over there on Miller. Two Can't pointer leave there. Him open like nope. that. Nope, Alyssa Redding for two. Sub, or 55 seconds left in the half. Dag up to Molenkoff. Molenkoff to Klingler. Klingler in double coverage at the post. Sends it back out to Molenkoff. Jellison on the right side. Back to Molenkoff. Tipped out of bounds by Miller. Comets will keep possession on that. Just under 30 seconds in the half. Jellison into Klingler. Klingler up to Degg at the volleyball line. 25 seconds now. Over to Jellison. Jellison back out to Degg. Over to Molenkoff here on the left. 11 seconds now. Needing to score, needing to score. Molenkoff picks it up, sends it over to Klingler. That was an ugly pass. We're going to have a jump ball on that. It's going to kick it over to the Lady Hornets. Four seconds in the half. Lady Hornets with a 12-point advantage. Lobbing it down to Rosen. Two, one. Degg gets involved with that right at the buzzer. And with that, we're going to go into the locker room. Lady Hornets 20, Lady Comets 8. We'll be right back after these words with some halftime stats. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV4. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at coalliancepropane.com. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer online at www.rtc1.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, some halftime stats for you guys. Uh, Lady Comets, one for five from behind the arc, two for seven in two-point territory, one for four from the, three, uh, from the free throw line. Uh, went into the locker room with seven fouls and 22 turnovers. Uh, the Lady Hornets, three for seven uh, behind the arc, five for 16, so just about 33% inside of the two-point zone, and one for two from the free throw line. Uh, had four fouls in that first half, and 20 turnovers. So turnovers, now the Comets are struggling more with maintaining possession on the floor, uh, but they're doing a fairly decent job on rebounds. 
Uh, Lady Hornets are struggling with offensive rebounds. But where they are succeeding is, well, shot percentage there uh, from three-point territory is, is half of their advantage right now. Um, six more points from, th from behind the arc than what the Lady Comets had. Um, and then, of course, uh, just 100% more shots in general. Yeah. Um, you know, the more shots you put up, if, if both teams are shooting about the same, and they are inside the arc, uh, they're both shooting about 33%. So, Well, like you said, I, I feel like maybe Rossville's just been able to to get more up in general. Well, and Rossville's bearing a very aggressive team in this first half. So uh, not that the Comets aren't pay playing aggressively, but uh, the the Hornets just started out very in your face um, from the opening tip-off. So anyway, we've got just under six minutes left before second half action. So go ahead and go refill your drinks and grab you a snack. We're going to step away for a few more words from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in home Wi Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24 7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. 
We are here for you. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider working hard to be a good neighbor. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 45 seconds, and we'll be going into the second half. 12-point uh, deficit. I'm not going to say it's over, but it's definitely going to be a hard road to hoe for the Lady Comets. Looking to be a, a tough one to pull out. You know, nothing's impossible. Well, and the Lady Comets have definitely been aggressive. It's not been... It's not been for a lack of effort. It's just, once again, we've had a lot of turnovers um, where I, I think I can, I can think of three or four of those turnovers where uh, the ball handler tried to stop and <laughs> part of their body didn't and they end up over on the floor. And when you still got the ball in your hand, that's a travel. Well, when uh, the turnovers have been going back and forth. They have. That's you been, know. you know, a two turnover difference, that's not major. That said, averaging 11, 10 or 11 turnovers in a quarter is kind of rough. Dig with the ball here on the right side. Have foul here called on Jayla Rosen, her third. Team first in the second half here. And that's kind of the kind of aggression we've seen all evening. First foul in the half is uh, eight seconds in, and Coach Helmick going to call a timeout. So we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out-of-the-oven pizza and ice-cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. All right. Yep. Coach Tomek said what he needed to say. Oh, no, you could be right, Gavin. Off the air, Gavin was saying that uh, he had a feeling that in that first eight seconds there was something that he specifically told him, that Coach Tomek specifically told the girls to do in the locker room, and they didn't accomplish that. So we'll see. Maddie Smith with the, that ball inbound. She's going to send it to the top of the key to Aubrey Degg. Dag working her way behind the volleyball line, waiting for a pick. Picks up that dribble. She's done, caught in double coverage. Caught in some heavy defense. Sends there. it over to Smith. Sails over Smith's head. Smith saves it. Sends it into Rosen. And we had uh, Sam Mousen over dribbled the basketball goal. And, uh, oh, I'm going to hear it for calling her to goal. <laughs> anyway, over, over dribbles the backboard and bounces it off the bottom. Dag on the left side. Tries to dish it down to Klingler. Gets swatted out of bounds by Miller. They've just been keeping her contained. It seems that everything that's gone to her has just been batted away. or Just you know. about. I sent it in to Oliver. Lane Oliver slips out of her hands. She was going up for that layup and couldn't quite transition that basketball. Degg's going to go down and put on some full court coverage. Forces a bad inbound. Comets will take possession. Oliver will take the basketball down to the baseline. 
Sends it into Deg. Mousen all over Deg. She's going to hand it off to Jellison. Jellison looking for somebody to pass it to. We're going to have a jump ball. It'll go to the Hornets. She needed someone right there. That's absolutely. You know, say once, say it, I'll say it again. They just they need to work on that specifically. Yeah, they're they're not communicating, not helping each other. Shot up by Lawson's off the mark, and we'll have another jump ball at the other end. Comets will take that one. Ball into Deg. Rosen waiting at the midcourt. Deg tries to send it down to the post to uh, Klingler. Klingler does get it. Dishes it back out to Deg. Over to Jellison. Jellison for three. Just off the mark. Klingler with that rebound. Back to Deg. Deg for two. And it's good. Ball into Lawson at midcourt. She's going to head down to the paint. Fakes Klingler out, but doesn't get the shot off. Aubrey Day came from behind, knock it loose. And we're gonna have a foul here called, I think, on Lane Oliver. She's just kind of laughing that one off. A little incredulous there. That's Oliver's third, team first in the half. Ball into Rodkey. Rodkey up to Rosen. Rosen over to Lawson. Lawson's going to dribble in towards the paint. Gets popped out of her hands. Up to Miller, over to Rosen. Rosen with that hook shot. It's her first score of the evening. Dag across midcourt. Charges down towards the arc. Kicks it back to Jellison. Jellison sends it down to the post. No good. Turned over. Miller down in the paint. Kicks it to the post. Out to Rosen. Up to Rodkey. Back to Miller. They're not letting Miller get open so far in this half. Again, she, she uh, owns nine of those points on the boards for the Hornets. Sends it down to uh, Rodkey at the post. Back out to Rosen. There's a three. Three-point attempt by Lawson off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Jellison's going to go left with it. Kicks it up to Deg at the volleyball line. Deg sends it down to Klingler. Klingler can't quite get control of it, but she's going to scoop it back to Deg. Deg sends it across to Smith. Smith puts it up for two and draws the foul. That was a good read right underneath the basket. Absolutely. Foul there was on number 34, Michelle Rodkey, her first, team second. Smith at the line for an and one. Shots up, shots good, and one. Rosen bringing it across midcourt. Dishes it off to Mousen. Mousen sends it down to the post. Shots no good for Rodkey. Back out to Lawson. We're gonna foul here on Jordan Klingler. That'll be her first. It's funny because in uh, some of the games we've seen, she's drawn like three in the first quarter. Oh, and here it is, just the third, and she's just now getting Absolutely, her first. but we've still got a quarter and a half of play, so she she doesn't have unlimited fouls to use. Up to Malson. Malson going to drive around to baseline, and we're going to have another foul here on Lane Oliver. That's going to be her fourth. She's going to have to take a seat, I think, unless Coach Homick's going to let her just foul out. I see him queuing up Emma Kay. Emma Kay's going to step in for Lane Oliver. Uh, 
you know, I, I don't necessarily agree with some of those fouls that they've called on Lane. I can tell by the look on her face, she certainly didn't. Open shooter there, number 34, Michelle Rodkey. Well, she's, Lane is just very aggressive. She is. Um, Would I say K aggressive for three. enough to draw as many fouls short. as she does? No. But still, aggressive nonetheless. Absolutely. Foul there on Jordan Klingler. She picked up her second one really quickly there. You jinxed I take her, back Gav. what I said. I take back what I said. <laughs> Knocking on wood. Degg putting pressure on Rosen. Rosen up to the Hornets volleyball line. Driving hard across midcourt. Sends it over to Miller. And Degg, Degg reaching in there. I don't know if they're going to, I think they're going to call that on her. Yep. That's Aubrey's third for a push. Now, now this I don't agree with. <laughs> they, they, it looked more like the girl was very balanced and uh, Degg ran into screen all, while also flying backwards simultaneously. So uh, the student section not happy with that call. Oh, no. Malson send it up to, uh, or send it out to Miller. Down to Rodkey. Rodkey in double coverage. Jellison tying it up for a jump ball. Hornets are going to keep a hold of that one. Nice coverage there by Emma Kay. Comes in deep to Malson. Over to Rosen. Back to Malson. Over to Miller. And Klingler tries to get a hold of that pass. Wow, they called that out off of uh, Rossville. I can't believe that. Well, the refs do so see the differently. Ref <laughs> so I say the, the refs were disagreeing on that one, and, and I have to say that was, that was out off of Klingler. See, we do have eyes up here. Correct. In the hands of Lawson, she's going to drive towards the three-point line, kick it up to Rosen, out to Miller. Rosen open for two, off the mark. Bricked it. And... Who are they going to call that foul on? Foul there on number 25, Emma K. her first. Team six, very quickly heading towards bonus territory. Ball into Rodkey. Down on the baseline to Miller, back out to Rodkey. To the corner to Miller. Miller dishing it clear across the top to Rosen. And we're underneath to Rodkey. Her shot was off. Rosen for two, and it's off the mark. Comet's coming up with the rebound. Smith going coast to coast with it, puts it in for two. Back down to a seven point game here. Hornet's gonna dish it across. It's up to Rodkey. Rosen bringing it back behind the volleyball line. Go get her, need all the time you can get. 2.08 in the quarter. Short jumper by Rodkey off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Jellison at the volleyball line. She's going to hand it off to Degg. Degg's going to kick it over to Kay. Emma sends it back up to Maddie Smith. Smith getting the ball wrapped up. Almost Com dripped. Comets keep a hold of it. We've got uh, Molenkoff back in and uh, number 32, Alyssa Redding, in for the Hornets. Monkoff sends it in to Kay in the corner. Kay drifts it over to the post. Nearly goes out. Maddie Smith saves it. Klingler dishes it to Smith. Up to Monkoff. Couple sloppy passes being gotten away with there. Kay with a long two, and it's good. 
five point game now. And timeout Hornets. We're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV4. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Mike's Trash Removal Service in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash Removal will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash Removal Service today. <laughs> and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 124 left here in the third. Comets have come up with a bit of a rally. Uh, they have it down to a five-point game, uh, which would <laughs> explain the Rossville coach's timeout called there uh, just before the break. So hopefully the Lady Comets can keep this rally up. See what they can do with the last uh, 84 seconds of the quarter. All right, ball in the hands of Rodkey. Sends it out to Miller. Miller's gonna dribble in towards the paint, kicks it down to Mousen. Back out to Rodkey, over to Miller. She was left open for three. Oh. Doesn't get that one. Lady Luck on their side for that one, I do say. All right, dig across the midcourt. All right, sorry, uh, Molenkoff for three, off the mark. Out of bounds off the comments. All right, we've got some, I got my clerical stuff sorted out up here. Problem with trying to keep stats is sometimes you look down and you miss the things you're trying to stat. Can't blink. Can't blink, especially not in this game. Behind the back move there by Rosen, but she picks it up. She drifts it over to Mousen. <laughs> Student section trying to hurry up a shot down there. Another short one on by Rodkey. And goes out of bounds off of the Hornets. In to Deg. Deg across midcourt to the volleyball line. And they're gonna call a charge on, uh, or an offensive foul here on Maddie Smith. That's her mm. second, team seventh. I didn't actually see it, I, I, I thought I that, didn't either, uh, I was watching Aubrey. I was too. Comets keeping up the heavy coverage, ball into Redding. Stripped by Emma K. Almost stripped and again. Out of bounds off of uh, number 34, it looks like. In this game, you can't get it and then just instantly think it's yours. They're oh, probably no. going to come try to get it back. Emma K for three, just off the money. Deg manages to save it from going out. Intercepted. Oh. One second, buzzer beater off the mark. Uh, there for Malson, and what an intense quarter. Uh, Lady Comet still trailing by five, but that was absolutely their quarter. Uh, we'll they be definitely beefed it up, showed some more excitement. And they've got to keep that up through the fourth, though. Um, only six turnovers for the Lady Comets. Uh, that quarter compared to the Lady Hornets, nine. Um, so they, they uh, the Lady Comets definitely won across the board that quarter. Uh, that said, they also definitely won in fouls, and they need to keep that under control. But it's really hard to amp up the intensity without um, amping up the fouls. 
Right, right, right. Uh, unfortunately, Lane Oliver in foul trouble here tonight. Um, Aubrey Dagg, pretty close. She's got three. Um, Smith, Jellison, and Klingler, all three with two. Uh, so a lot of key players that really can't afford many fouls at all here in this fourth quarter. Thomas will start the quarter with possession. Ball into Aubrey Degg. Picks it up early, sends it to Molikoff. Up to Smith. Back to Degg behind the volleyball line. Degg taking advantage of a screen, kicking it over to Emma K. Back to Degg, dishing it hard to Maddie Smith. Smith's gonna drive towards the paint. To K on the right side. Molikoff with a long two and it's good. Bring it to a three-point game now. It Absolutely. Seems. Wow. Comets bringing that energy in. Heavy, uh, heavy coverage down here on a hard press. And uh, interception made by uh, Maddie Smith. Just couldn't quite keep a hold of that. Goes out of bounds off off of Smith. Oh, and the Miller are open. Are open. And Drains there you that go. three. Paid the price for that one. Madison Miller cannot be left open behind the arc. She had so much time, she, too. Yeah. She can get him off quick, and then that one, I mean, she had time to make some coffee. And <laughs> Klingler open at the post. Misses that shot, though. Hornets with that rebound. Rosen. Dag, tight coverage on Rosen, kicks it over to Redding. Ties it up, up at the uh, elbow. They're gonna call that a foul, not a jump. Calling that a foul on Kenzie Molenkoff, her first. Whoa, what would you even call that? That should have been a jump. Up. That should have been a jump a ball. Pull? They should have called it a jump ball before it ever got to a foul, but. <laughs> is what it is. The Don't. eyes on the floor are the ones that are official. We're just up here in the canopy. Exactly. Lost into the line for one and one. Shot off the mark. Comets with that rebound. Molenkoff across the midcourt line. Over to Dag. Dag looking to take advantage of a pick. Dissolves. She sends it down to the post. Klingler up for two. Off the mark. Gets her own follow up. She draws the foul. Jordan Klinger looking like she did not like any of that. <laughs> foul there on number 34, Michelle Rodkey, her second. Team third. Klingler the line for two. First shot up. Gets a good roll on it. Back to a five point lead. Second free throw up. Beautiful. Kasten getting back into that uh, good old four point range. Got that heavy pressure on again. Over to Miller, not letting her open this time. See Delaney Strasser in for the comments. Rosen, covered by Degg. Over to Redding. Ball's loose, need to get it. Delaney Strasser with a phenomenal mm -hmm. strip, actually. Oh, come on, Rev. There we go. Jordan Klinger drawing two more points. Well, no, another uh, foul, at least. Foul was on number 12, Madison Miller, her first. First shot up, yeah. nothing but net. Three point game now, 5.50 to play. Second shot up, a little off ah. the mark. Ah. 
Hornets with the rebound. Miller, nice fake spin move. Goes up to the free throw line and drains it. Miller's just a shooter. Uh, she can't be left anywhere on the court. Back to a five point game. Oh, and Emma K can't quite keep a hold of that pass. Can't have that happen, especially now that we're almost yeah. to the uh, five minute mark in, in this close of a game too. Absolutely, absolutely. Comets have to keep the pressure up, have to keep the energy up, can't let themselves get tired, can't drop their heads. Uh, they need to stay in this. Strasser grabbing the turnover. Or grabbing the pass. I think that's a foul on number 12, Madison Miller. It is her second. Team fifth. Degg with the ball. Going to bring it across midcourt. Dishes it up to K. K for three. It's a little short. Comments with that rebound. Well, Amy Strasser really needed some help on that, especially since she worked hard enough and got that rebound, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Foul on uh, number 24, Emma Lawson. It's her third. Team sixth. Hornets getting ready to put uh, Comets into bonus territory as well. Ball into Degg behind the half-court line. Dribbles it up to the top of the key. Over to Strasser. Strasser dishes it down to uh, Klingler. Klingler drawing the foul. Should go to the line for two. Foul was on number 24, Emma Lawson. Her fourth. Let's see if the coach leaves her in or pulls her. First shot up. Good. Back to the four-point range. See if she can uh, knock it down to the three-point range. It's just been since the very first quarter that we've been within three points even. There she there we goes. Go. Kasten still having yet to lead, too. Absolutely. Uh, so much energy here, though. Strasser sticking to Miller like glue. Miller, crossover, sends it down to the post. Out to uh, Lawson. We're going to send it down to Rosen. Rosen tries or sends it to the post. Michelle Rodkey for two. Five-point game, 4.25 to play. Strasser, nice fake. Sends it over to K. K's open. Three-pointer off the mark. We've got Mousen. Headed coast to coast, sends it over to Lawson. Back out to Rosen, up to Miller. Miller for three, off the mark. Degg with that rebound. I'm sure I've missed some turnovers in this high energy quarter. Send it over to Kay. Kay dishes it over to uh, Molenkov. Molenkov for two, shots off the mark. Rosen at the volleyball line. Just kind of lackadaisically sends it to the top of the key to Rodkey. Back to Rosen. 321 left. need to get left. that ball back. It looks like they're also trying to chew some clock. Well, absolutely. And we've got a timeout called for the Hornets. So we're going to step away for this word. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV 4. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. These ladies taking the court. Three minutes, 16 seconds left. It's now a five-point game. Lady Comets are working hard. And they forced some good turnovers, but uh, Lady Hornets really... Uh, it seems like every time they score, 
Yeah, Lady kinda, Hornets come back and score. You yeah, know? we're kind of trading punches right now. Putting them back at um, that five-point lead. They just can't seem to break the three-point lead. Day going to draw another foul here. That's going to be her fourth. And she'll send Rose into the line for one and one. Now, at this point, I start to say, uh, I, I feel like Coach Homick needs to leave Aubrey in. If she gets five, she gets five. First shot up, off the mark. He comments with that rebound. Dig over to Kay. Kay tries to drift it down to the post. And uh, Klingler takes a shoulder to the face. That was really kind of a bad pass. Uh, well, it looked like she, she kind of caught some uh, whiplash because she was going forward and then she stopped and kind of yeah. flew backwards. You know, that always sucks. Uh, she was hit hard enough to uh, leave some puddle of sweat on the floor. And play will resume. 2.47 left in the game. Ball into Miller. Miller out to Rosen. Rosen nearly picking up that pivot foot. Dag tying it up. Jump ball. That was a high risk maneuver for Aubrey. Uh, well, that, she just went in there. And that just... absolutely could have been uh, miscalled as a foul. She would have sat down. But at this point, in this close of a game, you've just nothing, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ball in underneath to Malson. And tie it up again. Jump ball. The Comets will take it. Number 30 is slow to get up. Hope she's all right. She's got a bit of a hitch in her get along. I don't know if it's a pulled muscle. Dig across midcourt. Dishes it over to Kay. Kay for three. Off the mark. Scrambling for that loose ball. And we're going to have a timeout here for Coach Helmick. Half timeout. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 2.18 left here in the game. Five-point game advantage, Rossville Lady Hornets. And uh, for this whole half, uh, the uh, the gate sold the whole seat, but these Comets fans have only needed the edge. Molenkoff for two, off the mark. And Hornets will rebound that. 34, Rod Keys. she's gonna send it over to Rosen. Rosen heads towards the paint, and double dribble. Wrong time of the game to do that. Mm -hmm. Clock's winding down, it's getting close, can't make those silly mistakes. Dag, gonna draw the foul here off Rosen. That's Rosen's fourth. Aubrey will go to the line for one and one. Be very clutch if she could pull this off. Absolutely. First shot up. Gets that lucky bounce. Sometimes it's it's just as good to be lucky as it is to be good. <laughs> very true, very true. Second shot up. Doesn't get it. Uh, Smith with the rebound, though. Shot off the mark. Oh. 
Molenkov back up to K, 140 left to play. Over Smith, Smith's gonna take it down to underneath. Dishes it back out to Degg, nice save by Maddie Smith. Over to Emma K, back to Degg. Degg's gonna drive, draw the foul. Drawing a foul. She'll go to the line for two. I feel like she really knew what she was doing. Did you Absolutely. see her zoom in there? She was like, you know what? I'm gonna, Absolutely. I'm gonna try to get this too. Foul was on number 10, Jayla Rosen. She'll take a seat. Foul out. Fouled out. Mm. Subbing in. Hit for them. Number 32, Alyssa Redding. Just under 90 seconds left in the game. First shot up. Oh, just a little off the mark. Second shot up. Oh, rattles in and out. And we're gonna have a jump ball. It's gonna go to the Hornets. One twenty-five left to play, four point game. Nine fouls both sides. Uh, Miller trap dishes it to the middle. Number 30, Melson. And we're gonna have a foul here. On Is that Dag? Foul was on Aubrey Dag. her fifth, she'll take a seat. You know, she has really played a heck of a game tonight. She really has. She's been super key. Um, has eight of the Comets 25 points. Shots up. Drains it. Second shot up. Also in. Comets now down to a six point deficit. All right, well, we've got a full time out here. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first-time homebuyers. And with our premier first-time homebuyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 117 left on the clock here in the, with this six-point game. Uh, Aubrey Degg fouling out just before the break. Be a kind of a tough moral morale hit for the Comets. Let's see how they deal with that. We got Delaney Strasser in, bringing the ball across midcourt. Kicks it over to Emma K. Up to the top of the key to Kenzie Molenkoff. Down to the post to Maddie Smith. And Maddie Smith puts in two. <laughs> and Comets timeout after that. We'll be right back. Four points. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. 
With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams coming out of the huddle, understanding that a whole lot can happen in 64 seconds in a four-point ball game. Hornets in double bonus. Comets just one foul away. Tight defense called by or uh, put on by the Comets. Forced to travel. Got slipped. Uh, slipped through the cracks. Got Strasser called for a kick. I could definitely see some sloppy fouls happening from both teams right here. I oh, mean, yeah. it's well, things are getting intense. Tensions absolutely, high. both teams want to win. Got Rodkey coming up to the volleyball line. Coach Helmick almost pulling his hair out on the <laughs> sideline. And foul here on Emma K. Yes, foul on Emma K. Her second. We're going to put uh, Emma Lawson on the line for two. First one, a little off the mark. Comments fans excited by that. Second shot up, off the mark. Can't be having that. I feel like uh, a lot of what casting has been doing when it comes to that is just throwing it where they think someone will be, not where they know for sure right. someone will be. Right, right. And throwing a route is fine when you've got somebody that can get to the route. We have a foul called here on Maddie Smith. That'll be her third. Sending their number one shooter to the line, uh, not a very good idea. No, that's, that's a terrible idea. First one's up and in. Second shot up and in. Nothing but net. Strasser across midcourt, dishes it down to Kay. Kay puts it up for three. Ah, just off the mark. Over to Kay, Kay's gonna put it up again. That's it. <laughs> three point game. Now it is not unheard of for a buzzer beater, you know, but that's probably what every, but that's probably running oh, through every, everybody's every, mind at the moment. Absolutely. Thinking, you know, that just went from a six point lead. Boom, now we got a three well, point Okay, lead. at the half, it was a 12 point game. At the quarter, it was a five point game. We're now at a three point game. 14.1 left to play. Um, yeah, it's just, they're gonna have to, the Comets are gonna have to force the turnover here. And they have no choice, I don't, well, I don't know. If they can force a quick turnover, they could put it in for a layup. Maybe get an and one. I, yes, you're going to have to there, take what you there, get. There's, yeah, absolutely. There's not going to be any time to think that, oh, this needs to be our strategy. The only strategy they can have is force the turnover. Mm -hmm. They got to go in there and get it. Student section is definitely amped up right now. Comets stacking in with the Hornets. Trying to prevent any kind of inbound. Lane Oliver. Lane Oliver's in. Oh, and we left a man open. It's number 34, Michelle Rodkey. And all they've got to do is burn up time. And Lane Oliver's going to foul out here. We're going to send Sam Mousen back to the line. I've got her at 50% for the night. First one up. 
first shot up off the mark. So much pressure on this shot. Shots up, off the mark. Comets with the rebound and a timeout. Ooh, boy. All right, and that's a full timeout. We're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. 5.3 left to play in regulation here. Three-point game. Tensions high. <laughs> and uh, Rossville calling another timeout here, trying to ice the Comets. This is a half timeout. 30 seconds here. I don't know. I feel like if I was the Rossville coach, I would have, uh, would have saved that timeout, maybe? I don't know. Hart saying no timeouts left, though, for either team. I'm really kind of surprised that Rossville's not staying at this end of the court. Well, five uh, seconds left. Ball in. Dishes it down to uh, Emma. Emma puts it up. Off the mark and a heartbreaker for the Comets. Ah. That, that was the only strategy they really could have had. Final score here tonight, Hornets 33, Comets 30. Uh, we're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors, and we're going to come back with some post-game stats. Stay tuned. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV4. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Low download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today.
Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wow, what a second half, Gavin. Um, so, second half. Um, Hornets 17 turnovers, Comets 14. Um, and again, final score, Hornets 33, Comets 30. Uh, it was a 12-point game when they uh, went into the locker room. Comet scoring nine points in the third quarter. And uh, let's see if I can check my math here, 13 points in the fourth. Uh, Hornets scoring 11, just 11 points in the fourth and only two points in the third. Uh, the second half really just belonged entirely to the Comets. If they could have played that kind of basketball the entire game, uh, we would have had a different result here tonight. You know, the Comets were able to turn around, I feel, something that started out with a lot of people going, oh, no. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, they didn't they didn't win, but they put up a, a heck of a fight and really, really kind of changed things up. Uh, yeah, so final stats here. Um, Comets 2 for 16 behind the three-point arc, uh, 8 for 17 uh, inside and then eight for 16 from the free throw line. Uh, and again, ended with 20 fouls. We had both Aubrey Dagg and Lane Oliver fouling out. Um, the Hornets ended four for 12 from three point territory, eight for 30 uh, inside oh, the wow. arc, and six for 12 uh, from the free throw line. Again, both teams shooting 50% from the free throw line. Uh, they did end with only 13 total fouls for the night uh, and they had uh, Jayla Rosen foul out for them um, so honestly I mean it comes down to that it really comes down to uh, just those uh, three pointers that they let Maddie Miller score um, she was left open too many times in the first half if you and, eliminate, uh, you know, you eliminate that, you eliminate some other mistakes, and... Absolutely. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I think uh, both Aubrey Degg and Jordan Klingler may be kicking themselves a little bit um, because both of them missed enough free throws that, that they could have tied up the game. Um, obviously, Emma K fired a lot of three-pointers, uh, was only able to drain the one, and so... Uh, it just there's blame to go around, but there's also great, you know, great looks and things to go around tonight. Uh, heartbreaker that that final buzzer beater didn't drain in, um, and then take it into overtime. But it is what it is. Once again, uh, Lady Hornets going away from here victorious tonight. Uh, so I think with that we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, we will. We will be live again on Saturday for the um, distinguished the Fulton County Distinguished Young Ladies event. Uh, so, folks who have uh, family in that, there's a scholarship involved. So, there's a talent show and some other things. I know. Uh, so, you can tune in for that at uh, six o'clock on Saturday, and then looking ahead. Uh, we don't have any basketball again until Tuesday, the first Tuesday, second Tuesday in December, it looks like. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a break here as we go through Thanksgiving and uh, get into December. So appreciate you guys joining us tonight. Once again, I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other mic by Gavin Hickel, and we had uh, Autumn Garland doing our camera work for us tonight. We always appreciate that. So uh, until next time, this is RTC TV4.